Dotson. Dotson. We got Dotson here. See, nobody cares. But we could have cared. What's happening, my film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. Time for a little spoiler discussion of Jurassic World Dominion. And yes, Dotson! Wow! I went, oh shit! I didn't know he was in this. I didn't read anything about it. Apparently there was stuff out there, but yes. Good old uh, Lewis Dotson back. And that's who's the big baddie in this, which I thought, cool! That's something. Yeah, you're playing off the first one. Good job. Because we never knew what happened to Dotson. I mean, obviously we knew what he wanted. He wanted the embryos from the first one. So it was natural like, oh, yeah, look at that. So now he's like leading this Biosyn, which I love. It's called Biosyn. Like, come on, that's a little on the nose right there. If you're going to name it Sin, of course it's S-Y-N, but still, Thin. But when I heard the name, it was like, cool. Even Grant was like, wait, Dotson? It was like, yes, okay. But... <laughs> They made him look, I mean, there is a reason. There is a reason why when you watch Don't Look Up, that they have the main like CEO dude who's coming up with the technology, what's his name who plays him, has the white hair, the glasses, and you know, the white dude with the, it's like, that is, you know, that is such the cliche. And they made Dotson look just like that fucking guy. And I'm like, guys, are you trying to do a parody? Because it feels like you're trying to do a parody now. Just make Dotson look, I don't know. Is it sad? Man, but I was like, yeah, missed opportunity. And, and, and then, and, you know, it's funny, too. It's like they just were, oh, you're just going to accept it, you Jurassic Park f fanatics. He, he has the shaving cream, the Barbosi, whatever the hell that's called, that, that fucking Newman, that, you know, remember it fell out before he got killed by the, you know, by that creature of a dinosaur which shows up in this too which i thought okay that's cool i like that that they they were back i mean we all knew when you hear that wee, 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 you know when claire was like about to get attacked by them that was cool but he had that he had that in his office and i'm going how the fuck did he find it no explanation it was just like easter egg look at that there's a little shaving cream thing remember that and it's you know it's a little fucked up and you could tell it it had mud on it once i'm like how did they fucking oh, okay but I mean, but at the same time, it almost seemed like Steven Spielberg was planting that there in that scene for something further along if like things were to continue with this franchise. And it's like, okay, finally we're back to that and, and Dotson. But it's just, what the fuck? I mean, I mean, I get it. Like he's trying to like utilize, uh, you know, and of course Henry is back and he's like all long hair. He's got long hair now. So he's all kind of grizzled, but it's like, come on, dude. Dude still looks the fucking same as he did in the first movie. But of course, he's got a guilty conscience because he's been in this whole Jurassic World uh, world, I guess you could say, doing like uh, bad things. But um, it was just kind of like, okay, you got these big, huge like crickets that are basically like locusts. And I was like, okay, I like where you're going here. But then it just felt like, eh, no, I don't really like where you're going after that was part that was like a plot device of like, oh, wait, we got to like wipe these little big, huge locusts out. And I'm like, why, why do we need the big locusts again? I mean, it just for after a bit, it was like, no, wait, this is not this shouldn't be about big locusts, you know, which is just creepy. And it just didn't I don't know. It didn't work for me after a bit. I thought it was kind of cool at first. And I went, no, I don't need to see big locusts, you know, what if that's. Why? And then, like I said, they just didn't introduce the characters like they should. It's like. It's like, you know, Ellie Sattler just like shows up with Grant and then they just have an exchange and it's really quick. And then uh, she just shows the book and there's Ian Malcolm on the book and then he's working at Biosyn and then he's like, oh, I'll get you in. You know, and it's just all just I don't know. It's just ugh, it just started falling apart in the middle there where it's just like, oh, man. And, but, and then what they were emphasizing, too, with some of these dino creatures is they were turning into birds. I maybe I mean I, I did have to go to the bathroom one time, but did Dr. Grant mention that these creatures were turning into birds? That was emphasized a lot in Jurassic Park. Seems like you'd want the character who was emphasizing that to be talking about that more in this movie. Because there were like there was dino creatures that were growing that had feathers and shit. So his like theory that they turned into birds was like kind of like, you know, they could have emphasized that. You're bringing them back. Emphasize that as the plot, too. Ah, frustrating. 
And then, of course, the Maisie thing, um, they talk about that and they show footage of her mom and stuff like, uh, you know, and that she was at Jurassic Park and she, you know, she didn't. They, they, they now turned it. See, see, this is why I didn't, I didn't really like this either, though, because it was in Fallen Kingdom. They made it seem like her grandfather, you know, uh, Macy's mom's dad was so heartbroken that, you know, that him and John Hammond step, stepped away from each other because he wanted to clone his daughter and then successfully did. So then he was like, oh, cool. You know, I cloned my daughter. Now it's like I have my daughter back. But then we find out that she actually wanted to do it. And she actually, you know, held, you know, carried the daughter. And it's just like, yeah. But then they wanted to correlate that with the uh, the blue thing because blue ended up having a kid without, you know. And I didn't really like that, too. I like the fact that blue had a kid. I did because that was a little plot device. But again, that was my favorite part. That was my favorite part. It was the heart of Jurassic World was the relationship between Owen and Blue. And it just felt like they were just, it was just quick, 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 quick. You know, I mean, at the beginning when they're out in that cabin, in, you know, in the woods or whatever. And then Blue is kind of like, just like, like looking out for them. You know, and I like that aspect of it. But then it, didn't, it didn't just felt like Blue didn't really do as much as that he did and or she did. And the last one, and even the first one, it was just kind of like, okay, we, well, they took the raptor. Now we got to get the, the little baby raptor back. And then Blue comes back, and blah, 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 you know, but it's just, and they did a little too much with the fucking, oh, come on, stop it. I mean, there's a point where Dr. Grant and Maisie do this shit too. And I'm like, that is something that <laughs> Owen does with Blue. Come on. Or the raptors, he does that. But they're like doing it like every dinosaur that shows up. It's like it's it's not the force. It's not the dinosaur force. Relax. I mean, they kind of just like overdid that. I like the fact that it, that was only for the Raptors that that Owen was doing. But they were like they kind of overdid it. They kind of overdid it. Ugh. I'm just kind of like, what the hell? And then, of course, you know, you got this. Uh, they introduce a new character. I love how they what they do. Uh, you know, with these movies where you have two characters that were in Fallen Kingdom that are just in the opening scene of like this one. They're like briefly in it, which is uh, Justice Smith and that one girl. I forgot what her name is. Um, but yeah, they, they, you know, they were there for just a little bit for like the opening scene. Um, but then they're like, OK, but we're not going to be in the rest of the movie. Um, so <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of interesting when they when they do kind of something like that. And then, of course, you got this um, pilot uh, woman. It's just like but at the same time, it's like. Can you make her not so beautiful? It's like, you know, just make her a little bit more. I mean, she's a pilot. She likes to get her hands dirty and stuff like that. Just make her not so just, oh, you're stunning, you know? I just, I just like, kind of hate with these movies, too. It's like, they got, it's like I get it. They're trying to be like, all right, let's instead of do, make it just some dude, let's make it a woman. And I'm totally for that. But it's like, grizzle her up a little bit. Don't make her just freaking just gorgeous, you know? That's like, come on. Anyway, so... Yeah, that's pretty much a lot of my complaints. I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Now, I mean, like I said, there's like, I, I mean, when the, the the original cast is back together, there's some, but I mean, it just felt like the stakes weren't there. It just felt like the stakes weren't there, um, like in the other ones. Um, and I think just the hardest part was like, okay, how do we do this without the island? And just imagine if like that that scene in Fallen Kingdom. Imagine that scene in Fallen Kingdom where they're pulling away from the island as it's just getting just destroyed by lo by lava and explosions from the volcano. And you see the brontosaurus silhouette and it's really a sad moment. Imagine if the original cast was on there, too. Dr. Grant Sadler and uh, Ian Malcolm. Imagine if they were on that boat, too. I just wish they maybe could have somehow. I don't know, because to have them see the island go away would have been pretty would have had more of an impact especially with the last movie so i think as beautiful as that scene was in fallen kingdom i wish it could have got saved for this one because i wish they could have i don't know it just i think it needed that we needed to see them watch the island be destroyed and then see them since they were the first ones to see the brontosaurus in jurassic park imagine just the three of them seeing the brontosaurus get destroyed and get on its hind legs and shit like that i think that was a missed opportunity right there like uh you know but how do you yeah i don't know i think that was a missed opportunity if that would have happened that would have been pretty cool but anyways guys there's my little spoiler discussion for jurassic world dominion hopefully i didn't miss anything but man you had dotson which i thought was like oh whoa i even went oh man i was 
<laughs> but then it was like, oh, then you made him this weirdo, and it's not really, what? It just didn't, it just didn't fucking work. I don't know. But anyways, guys, there you go. Let me know your thoughts about it down below, about what you think. Hit that like thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Become a member if you want to support the channel or you can support it with Patreon. All the links are provided down below for all the sock men's and everything like that. So there you go, guys. <sighs> Talk to you later.